All right. Um, let me start uh, with uh, the staircase. Uh, we have actually gone through, like I've given you an overview of how the total detail is like. So now we are going to be focusing on each structural member that we can actually achieve from the proto detail directly, even without using proto structure. Okay. Uh, if I click on this stairs. Now. Uh, you are not sharing your screen. Uh, really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. I believe you can see it now. I can't see it though. How about now? Can you see my screen now? No, I can't see it. What is wrong? Showing me that I'm sharing my screen now. Uh, of course. Okay, I can see it now. Sorry. What happened? I think I clicked something from my end that disabled that function from here. So as soon as I enabled it, the screen came up. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, you can see. Um, this is the stair, stairs, as you can see, we have stairs here. If I click on that, you can see uh, we have different options of stairs uh, supported by outer edge. I think this, uh, this is the most, okay, all of them I think are kind of common. I think this one is more common. The first one supported by outer edge. We have supported by two outer edges, supported by three outer edge. Then we have separate steps and integrated steps. Uh, then we have spiral. You know, we have different types of staircase. We have the, the straight flight, the open well, we have the, the helical, we have spiral. Uh, okay. Sorry, I, I have a question. Okay, I'm with you. The spiral stair, staircase, can it be modeled in Puta structure? Like to model it in the normal Puta uh, structure software? Yeah. Of course, you can model it there. But you know, this one is, is just like an already existing template. But if you, are, yes. if you are modeling it there, of course you can model it there, but it's much more, uh, this is already an existing template where you don't have to put in much stress to achieve whatever. Not stress. Yes, exactly. Okay. So you can model it there. Like you said, you can model it there. Um, but then, you know, that one is not a, a template for for staircase like it's not specific for a staircase design so you are not going to see an option to analyze it as a staircase okay yes you're not going to see that to analyze it as a stairs and to design it as a stairs so you are actually designing it most likely as a uh like a slab If you are doing it in proto structure. Okay. Yes, but in proto detail, you can see the analysis is 
as a staircase that it is. And the design is also as a staircase. Sorry, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. I understand you. I understand it. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so you can see here, let's say I'm going with this first option here, uh, that I'm having my supports at this point and at this point. Uh, it will be good we use an IKEA drawing, let me see. Stop. Uh, I just want to open a drawing there. So we are going to follow what we have there. So let's assume that the height of this is, uh, all right, let me leave it at 2,800. The stairs width. Now you can see all the informations are here. Uh, the B, you can see we have uh, like a preview of what you have here based on the informations that are here is what we have here this is a preview so it's like giving you a picture of what the information that is here i don't know if you get what i'm saying mm. are you following i'm with you sir i'm with okay. you now you can see the width here the stairs width at b we have b here we have another b here if you can see my cursor we okay. have B here, we have another B here. Now the stairs, stair width B, which is this. So if I reduce this value now to 1000, you are going to see it will uh, affect this. So I'll click somewhere here. Now you can see it has reduced in size. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, but where, so, sorry, sir, where is the height? H. You said? H, I can't find H on the previous. The H, that's the height yes. of the thickness. It's you cannot see it here, or or, or less in the cross section. Okay. You can only find it in the cross section. This is a okay. plan view. Okay, this is a plan view. Exactly. So the height is thickness of the slab, or what? Thickness of what? It means the height of the flight, the flight. Okay, height of the flight. Exactly. The flight is at what height? Do you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to. <laughs> Let me use an AutoCAD drawing to explain. Okay. Sorry, let's hold on. It's actually loading. So, all right. Sir.
So I'm looking for something that is a bit similar to what I have there. All right, let's say this this staircase. Are you seeing my screen? Huh? Are you seeing no. my screen? I'm You're seeing your screen, but it is blank. Ah. What is happening? Your screen is blank. Please check check your own system. I hope it's not what you did the other time. No, I I I can't. You are supposed to be seeing my screen. Move what is telling me I should move something. Uh, okay, I can see your screen now on Prota structure. On Prota detail, sorry. I can see your screen on Prota. It's blank again. Okay. Seems like anytime I turn on my AutoCAD, it goes blank. How about now? Mm. Now it's still blank. There's a black screen covering your and um, the portal detail screen. The, I can see part of the portal detail screen, but there's a bigger blank page covering. Yeah, it. that's the AutoCAD file that is hiding it. I have to always click on. I believe you can see it now. I can see it now. I can see it now. These these people, they no guesses. All right. This is for like two floors. I want something that's just for one suspended floor. All right, good. This one is perfect. All right, see see this now. Yes. Okay. What you have there, from here to here now. That is that B that you have. Sorry, this drawing is not to scale. So forget about this 4,000 you are seeing. Yeah, okay. It's not, to, it's not drawn to scale. Okay. Yeah, I ex I actually rescaled it to make it larger so as it can appear clearer on the drawing. Uh, okay. Are this real life project? Uh, this is AutoCAD. It's not, uh, this is not Prota Detail. <laughs> no, I'm saying are they real life projects? Or just oh, they are now. Okay. Yes. Now, this is what I was trying to explain. Okay. The height from here, from ground here now, yes, to this place now, is actually 3,300. Hmm. So that place is 2,800. So it depends on what is the height of your building. Okay, so the height of the building based on what you have in the architectural drawing will determine what you specify there in your structural design. Hmm. So this is the first flight. You know, this is, uh, I think this is dog leg. Yeah, that's, this style of staircase is called dog leg. They are starting to be corrected anyway, I've forgotten. I think this is dog leg. Okay. So this dog leg now, you can see, it comes like this. So this is the cross section of this staircase. You know this one, you are coming up like this, then you have a landing here, then you come this way like this. This is exactly what you have. When you come, you walk these steps, and then you have this landing, which is what you have here, and then you walk the steps like this, and then another landing here. I don't know if it is making sense. It's making sense, sir. It's making sense. Okay. So by the time you calculate this first flight here, plus this second flight that you have, this is the first flight. You walk these steps, then you rest a bit on this landing before you continue your journey on these other steps, and then you drop here. It's different from a straight flight. A straight flight comes just one, straight. I will show you a cross section of straight flight. This is a cross section of a straight flight. Mm. Is it making sense? It's making sense. I'm, I'm with you, sir. Okay, fine. So the typical example, this is an example of what we have here from our prota detail. Hmm. 
is is are you now seeing total detail maybe you are not seeing it I, i'm seeing i'm seeing it i'm seeing the it. total detail no i'm still seeing the autocad page okay i will switch to proto detail now i don't know why this thing i have to i always have to hello sir yes but that details does not do detailing like this like the labeling it does not what does not label like this like what i'm seeing on this other card it labels uh, manual label it labels inside eh? the manual detail now this okay. one you you detail i detail and call out all my reinforcement outside so it's different okay. from uh uh, you know it's the the software uh, was actually designed by engineers who probably that's how they represent their detail there in their country so it's, it was not designed by a nigerian so <laughs> okay sir uh-huh so sir, uh, i i i know that at the end of this tutorial i'll be able to do this manual detail do what I said, I know that at the end of this tutorial, I'll be able to do this manual detailing of slabs. <laughs> manual detail is on AutoCAD now. This is AutoCAD environment. Okay. This is not. Uh, this is not proto detail. This is this is entirely AutoCAD. Okay. Ah, uh, when I switch to resume screen sharing, I don't know why this thing is. This thing is crazy, honestly. Hey. All right. So what I was showing you in AutoCAD is exactly what I have here. Okay, okay. Yeah, not exactly, but similar to what similar. I have here. Uh -huh. So so that's that height you were asking of. Yes. I believe you understand where that height is coming from now. It's a cross section. Yes. So you, yes. The, yes. what this is showing us is just a plan view of uh, yes. the, the staircase so by the time you are you have impute all of these and you design it it's going to generate both the plan view detail and the cross section of the staircase for you okay yes so the so b i sorry i hope you are recording sir i'm recording all right thank you sir okay so this height now let's say i'm using a three meter height it's not always a constant value so it depends on what you have from the architecture the architecture real height could be four meters sometimes it could be 4.5 meters sometimes it varies it depends on whatever structural member um whatever kind of building okay you know we have buildings that could be warehouse it could be a church it could be a a mox and then uh it could be a laboratories most times they have a very high height of uh building they are always very higher than the normal uh, residential kind of building uh so it depends on whatever you are you're, you are designing so you are going to see it in the architectural uh, design anyway so you are going to specify that height that you got from the architectural drawing. the story landing this is the landing okay so you know you are going to walk and you have a landing let me show you again from here uh can you see my autocad 
probably no. Uh, it's, it's, it's blank. Uh, don't worry. I think I now understand it. Okay, this one. You can see the AutoCAD, I believe. Yes, I can see it now. I now understand how to double it. Okay, you can see this landing now. From here to here now, 1,200. That is what I have. Sorry, the, up, the, the AutoCAD page is blank. Like, it's just showing a gray background. It's not, I can't see those drawings. Okay, I can see it now. I can see the drawings now. So I have 1,200, which is the landing. This is the flight, the first flight. This is my landing. This is my second flight. So the width of this landing, based on what I have in this drawing, is 1,200. So uh, I will switch back to my proto detail. So uh, I'm going to type in 1,200. So now it's asking me stairs width. Sorry, stairs width is, uh, sorry, I did not confirm that value, but I'm going to just type in values from my head. So uh, my story landing width is 1,200, assuming that is what I'm being given. The intermediate landing, which is, look at now, BSK. We have BSK. That is the story landing, BSK. Look at it, if you can see my cursor. I can see it, sir. Good. BSK, 1,200. BSA, which is uh, 1,000. So I can type in another value. Let's say I have 1,300 here. Now you can see it's actually represented here. Yes. Good. So here now, uh, NXA here that you can see here is the number of, uh, that's the length from here down to this place. Okay. Okay. And then here we are actually having uh, the number of steps. You can count based on what you are giving from the architectural drawing, the number of okay. steps that is there. So uh, let's assume the number of steps here is actually 20. Okay, so if I change that value, you can see here. Now this BK, sorry, I'm going to take that again. The BK is the thickness here. You can see from the diagram here that we have, the BK, hmm. the thickness hmm. here, which is, uh, you can measure, always take the measurement. Switching from AutoCAD here right now is always, not showing you immediately. I have to always do some other stuff in order for you to see it. I don't know if you can see my auto. I can see it now. Okay. That's why I'm 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 scared of switching. Um okay. Here now is not drawn to scale, honestly. Uh, but let me assume the thickness from here to here. Uh, let me assume that this, uh, uh, this is definitely not up to 235. So, but let me assume it's 50, okay? Because like I told you, this is not to scale. So I'm going to assume that this is 50, uh, but you know, I can even rescale this to get the actual measurement for this. Don't worry, I'll show you something now. Uh, let me get the actual scale for this drawing. Okay. So I think this is, the width here is 2,400. But you can see what I'm having here when I take this measurement is 9,485. So I'll type in SC uh, and I'll drag. Uh, let me check that value again. 9,485 divide by 2,400, 9,485 divided by 2,400. 
Sorry, I'm supposed to take it the other way around. That's a very big mistake I made. SC 2400 divided by 9485. Good. Now you can see that this thing I checked, the dimension I typed in, it has actually come back to this. So this is the actual uh, scale of this drawing. Hmm. So I can check this now. So you can see the width here is 60. So you can see the actual length from here to here is 1,180. <laughs> Don't worry, this is AutoCAD. I'm just trying to use this to explain to you how to use, how to understand your staircase cross section. All right, sir. All right, the plates, uh, stair hole here now is 60 that we have based on what I have in my drawing. And then um, my plate thickness, okay? For DK, uh, I always like to try 150 first. When it fails, I change the thickness. I always like to try 150 thickness. And then my steps width. Uh, this this uh, this one fifty is actually the uh, the staircase. Uh, they call it they call it waist. Uh, the waist. Okay, that's like the thickness of the slab, not the steps. Are you with me? I'm with you. Good. It's like the thickness of the slab. Of the, both the story and of the, of the staircase slab. Staircase. Okay, okay, okay. The yes. staircase. You know, staircase is like a slab, but diagonally. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So it's like the thickness of that slab. Okay. So I always like to try the thickness of 150. Okay. So, uh, but when it fails, I change it to a higher value until I discover it passes. Because as an engineer, your design is not supposed to, it's not just to be safe, but to be economical as well. Of course. All right. So uh, 150 here, 150 here, here, the number of steps I said is 20. Uh, the... Step width is 300. Uh, and then the step riser, rise, is 150. Don't worry, I'll show you from the AutoCAD uh, drawing so that you understand some of these things better, so that you have a clearer picture of what I'm talking about. Let me switch to the okay. AutoCAD uh, drawing. I so, can see the AutoCAD now. Uh, you can see the AutoCAD, right? Yes. Can you see it now? Yes, I can see. Okay, I think this is our meeting remaining 10, eight minutes for it to actually expire. So I have to uh, be very fast uh, with this or else it will go off any moment. All right, let me show you quickly. Uh, the thickness here for the landing let me check what I have here. Okay, this is 120. This is the thickness of that landing stairs that is talking about. You know, mm. you, you, you saw where it was telling us thickness of a uh, plate. While this second yes. one, uh, let me use the diagonal measure to annotate diagonal. Uh, sorry, this, all right, drop down, angular, align. So I have a thickness of 125. 
I don't know if this mm. thing is to scale. Let me just confirm it. Okay, this is not actually very correct. It's not to scale. Uh, let me rescale this cross section. So I have 150 here, uh, 230 here. So let me reconfirm. All right, good. Here is showing me 160. So what I will do is I will rescale this uh, 160, right? 230 divided by 160. No. 160 divided by 230. Oh, I think I made it a mistake. Sorry. Sorry, I'll take it back. You know, something you are not doing, if I was using it every day, 230 divided by 160. All right, I think this is correct now. Okay, this is a bit over than bigger than what I'm expecting. Still not correct. Two three five by by two thirty. Supposed to be correct now. All right, I wouldn't want to waste too much of my time on this. But let me check this again. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, this is 240. Let's see. 240 divided by 230. <laughs> what is wrong? Okay. There has been an increment on. Okay, 230 divided by 250. Let's see what I have. Perfect. It's now to scale. Sorry, I've been having some little confusions. Okay, it's now drawn to scale. So I have 230 here, 230 here. So if I check this measurement here now, I think this is all right. The thickness here is 170. Uh, let me check this angle here. Here, here. Uh, this is also 170. So I used 170 here. This drawing is an old design, so I cannot remember what I used for it. Okay, so you can see that uh, I used 170 there. So you understand where this thickness is coming from now. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm so here. Now you can see the plate thickness for DK. That's the last one I checked. Then the plate thickness for landing is the first one that I checked. The landing is from here to here. That's the thickness of that landing. So they are both 170, 170 based on that drawing. Okay. Okay. And then the number of steps, I assumed it. I didn't count that other one. So I just assume it to be 20 because I want to beat time. Okay. And then uh, the step riser, that's the rise, uh, is 150. Um, the steps price is 150 here, but let me confirm what I have here. Uh, this is the rise from here to here. Okay, you can see this one is 170. This one is 170, but let's maintain the 150. So this is the rise. Uh, this okay. is the riser. Uh -huh. So you need okay. to understand all of these terms. This is your riser. This is your tread. Which one is my tread? This one I took. The one that you are putting your leg, the steps. Okay, okay, okay. It's the tread. Uh, yes, it's the tread. Okay, okay. This one is the riser. It's this the one riser. I took here is the waist. Okay, that's the waist of oh. the staircase here. That's waist. the thickness of that stairs. Yes, then this is the landing. Yeah. 
Then when you move from here to this place, is a flight. That's a flight. It's a flight. Exactly. So you need to understand the types of staircase. We have open well, we have dog leg, we have a spiral staircase, we have helical. Uh, I don't know, maybe I've forgotten others. But I think these are the major ones you're going to see uh, everywhere and every now and then. Those are the major kind of staircase you're going to see. But I believe there are other types of staircase, but these are the common ones um, that you, you will most likely find everywhere. All right. So uh, I'm going to be ending this right now because I have one minute, 41 seconds to stop for this session to be over. Then, uh, all right, yeah. all right, sir. okay, yeah.